What's up, YouTube? It's me, your boy, as always, Dope Toys and Why, here with another quick review slash unboxing for a figure that I'm a little early on. Um, this is the Rocket Raccoon and Groot from the Mantis, also from the Mantis Builder figure. Uh, last time I had shown you the Adam Warlock. Uh, same deal with this one. Got it off of Amazon. Somebody had posted a link that was a direct uh, add to cart. And it worked out. It didn't come uh, prime, but it came, uh, I think, three or four days. Um, this one, I was I grabbed two of them. I still have two of them. One is up for trade. Uh, I guess you can leave anything in the comments that you have to offer. I'm kind of specific on what I'm looking for. I'm pretty much done with a lot of the Hasbro stuff. I need some Toy Biz Legends and uh, can definitely use a 40th Anniversary Pilot Luke. Which obviously I know isn't a fair trade, but I would make up for it somehow. Anyway, let's get into it. I'm going to unbox this fella. Uh, before I get into that, just so you guys can see the box art. Um, I had shown this on the last one. Uh, the whole wave there. Uh, looking forward to getting a few more of those. Um, let's get into it. Let's see. I feel like I've opened so many legends recently that I guess got this down to a science. I probably pull a decent fig swap. <laughs> That's out. Out of package. There you have it. Pretty cool. Uh, let me get this all out, take the Mantis piece out, take our accessories out. Uh, we have a, that's kind of hard to see, but a head with a closed mouth. We have our Baby Groot in Ravenger gear. Not showing great, I'll get a better close up of that. This rocket only came with two pistols. As opposed to the last one that uh, came with that big machine gun jammy. There's your figure. Open mouth Groot. Uh, let me adjust this camera a little bit and I'll continue this review. Alright, here we go. There you have the figure. Uh, not a ton of articulation, though it is a step up from the last rocket. Uh, he didn't have this independent leg articulation. You've got a swivel on his feet, both feet. Uh, appears to be some sort of rotation at the knee, which is a little odd. Uh, maybe 90 degrees on the arm. He's got a wrist swivel. His head moves, spins around, uh, shoulders swivel, they don't lift up, it doesn't appear. Oh yes they do, there you go. Lift his arm straight out. Uh, for a side-by-side -side comparison with the old fella. Oh, battery is low. Side-by-side -side with the old fella. Uh, new head sculpt is way more wicked looking. Uh, like I said, you pick up the articulation in the crotch, which he didn't have. Uh, he had no articulation on the feet. Now he does. The arm articulation is similar. Waist is... Uh, this is a low waist swivel, and this is more of a, a chest or abdomen swivel. Uh, a little bit of crunch. And the tail. The tail moves around. It actually pops out. It popped out on me. Uh... And then just as another quick reference, here is the new Groot, the Ravenger Groot, and here is the one that came with the Toys R Us Groot. Uh, maybe a tiny bit shorter. Uh, I like the Groot one a little better, but he's cool. His outfit is cool. And then uh, weapon differences were this guy came with. Uh, I'm going to do that without those popping out of my hand. The two handguns. As opposed to this big weapon that came with the last one. But there you have it. Uh, pretty cool figure. Uh, one last thing. Let me pop these together on camera for you guys. 
I now have a mantis torso and head. So we're getting there, slowly but surely. I'll uh, do some posing. I'll get him into some poses for you guys. A quick spin around. He's not much of a figure. He's a very small character, so it makes sense. Uh, I'll get some posing done and take some video of that. I just wanted to note here that uh, he does have knee articulation. I didn't say anything about it. I didn't notice it before getting him posed here. He doesn't pose all that great either way, but uh, yeah, there is knee articulation about 90 degrees, single joint. There you have it folks. I did just want to make a quick note about this figure. Uh, I almost lost a foot in between cuts. Um, they pop out, they're on little pegs, they slide in and they don't fall right out but they do tend to come out the same I'm noticing with this tail has coming out on me a couple times. Nothing huge, not a huge deal, uh, but it is worth mentioning. I didn't have that problem with the old one because the feet did not pop out on that one. I'm not sure about the tail, but I never noticed. Uh, another thing I wanted to note, the tail comes in, uh, it, it's huge when it comes to posing him because you use it as a tripod with most tail or wing, uh, caped or tailed characters. But yeah, I just wanted to make a note of that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.